I actually get this request more often than you'd think, and it's how do I replace the actual add to cart button on a product? Now, the reason why I guess this isn't available on Squarespace is, or natively, is that they want you to check out using their system. They want the money to go through their system so them or Stripe or PayPal can collect fees. And I get it to some degree, but some products just, it, they don't work like that. So I had a client recently and, uh, well, two clients. There was one client who's like a football or soccer uh, magazine. And basically they had two versions. You could have a, I think it was a European checkout. So that would do it on the website. And then you'd have like a rest of world checkout. But that went to a different publisher that you could buy the magazine from. So obviously we had to hide the add to cart button. Well, in this instance, we had to create a new button as well as the add to cart button. Then the second client, so I'm just trying to walk through use cases here. The second client, uh, I think she sold wallpaper prints, something like that. But basically she wanted to hide the button completely. And instead of add to cart, it would be get a quote. And that would go to a separate website where they would input the size that they wanted, like how many strips or whatever, the design. And then there was like a few other variables. I think maybe it was shipping and something else. And on this site, they would create the quote for her potential customers. Now we can't do that on Squarespace. So she had to do it through this supplier. And in this case, what use is having the add to cart button? So we can't do that, we, like, we can't untoggle it natively. So what I had to do was hide that button in this instance and create a new button using CSS. And I'm gonna show you how to do both of those things in this video. Okay, so you join me in a um, store here. Now let's say we've got this rotate merch here. We wanna hide these and we wanna then send the user, let's say to uh, a third party website where the user will then be able to maybe spec the shirt up. What size do you want? Do you want this type of embroidering? You know, whatever it is. First thing that we want to do is hover over edit and then go into product. In here, we want to create our button. So for this, we need to get rid of any links that we don't want to be a button. And then we're going to create the button here. So let's call this button uh, spec up my jumper and then we will give this a link like so and then we can link out for, for this instance we'll just do google.com open that open a new tab great this is going to be our button if we save this and then we look at our product here you can see okay great we've got the button but we've still got these so i've already done this code because i did it on the client site what we need to do is go into product and then in additional info, we're gonna add a code block under here. So put in a code, we're gonna delete this. And then if I blow this up and paste what I did for the client, you can see. So to break this down just a little bit, what we're doing is we are hiding the variant option. So we're hiding like quantity, we're hiding anything that isn't the description basically. So variant, we're then hiding uh, quantity input. We're then hiding, uh, what else have we got? Well, all of this price as well, because we don't want to show the price. So that's hiding. We need to hide the things that we don't want. And then in here, what we need to do is we need to actually style the button or style the link to look like a button. So basically, if I roll through this, you can see, um, Essentially, A, we're targeting the link within the excerpt. So text decoration, none. This gets rid of the underline under the link. I've added a transition. So when we hover over the, the button, the pseudo button, there's going to be a 0 0.3 second um, animation delay. Then the border. So we're adding a solid border around the button. Then we're giving it some padding. So uh, 10 pixels, top and bottom, 20 pixels, right and left line height this is just going to give us space under the button uh, and then background black then that's just going to be the button style in fact in this case you can probably get rid of the border um, so let's drop the border from that um, and then color white that just colors the link itself and you can change these so you can change the background to white the color to black 
you can use a hex code to do any shade of any color you can think of. Same with the um, same with the color here. And then we've got an hover. So when the user hovers, what happens to the button? Do we want to make it bigger? Do we want to change the color? You know, what do we want to happen? For this, I've just put opacity of 0 0.7, so it just turns down slightly. Um, and then we have to wrap it in style tags because it's not going in the CSS, it's going in the product description. Because if we put it in here, it's only targeting that one page. If we put it in the CSS uh, and we had other products that we did want to keep the add to cart on, it would apply to all products or if we used uh, section IDs or collection IDs, we'd have to target every single new product that we wanted this to apply to. And that's just not really scalable. It's Especially if you're handing something off to a client, it's just gonna be annoying for them. So with this, it just all sits in a code block. If you want the add to cart button to show on a page, all you do is remove the code block and you're done. So let's close this down. We will hit apply and save. And then when we go back into our product, we can see spec my jumper or spec up my jumper is the only button. So it's a really nice button. We've got no other details. And when we click it, that's going to take us to Google or, you know, whatever the specified website would be. Now, if you want to also show, um, it's like still show the button, we'd go into additional info and then code. Let's just bring this over here and blow this up. All you've got to do is get rid of that part. Close it down, hit apply, hit save. And then that is going to show your options under here. So let's imagine, and you can also hide the quantity if, if you wish, just by um, keeping the quantity part of the display non-code um, from the code block in place while deleting everything else. But basically, if we go back to the magazine example, if you want an add to cart for users, let's say, uh, or for visitors in the UK, but in the US, you want them to go here, you would say, uh, US customers spec my jumper up, you know, something like that. You can keep both, you don't have to hide this, but most clients will just want to, or most, most people will want um, to hide these two here and then only have this. Doesn't matter, whichever way you wanna play it, the code is there, it's all free. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.